lot size, leverage, and margin. The lot size, the leverage, and the margin all work together when it comes down to the mathematical formulas. But first, let's take a look at each one separately and learn what they are. The lot size. The lot size is how you will determine what each pip you earn is worth. When you place a trade, you have to trade in little currency blocks or units. These little blocks are called lots. A lot is a certain size of currency traded or a certain dollar amount. There are three basic lot sizes. There's the micro lot, and that's $1,000 worth of currency controlled. There's the mini lot, and that's $10,000 worth of the currency controlled. And there is the standard lot, and that is $100,000 worth of currency controlled. What lot sizes are worth in the Euro USD? One micro lot is worth 10 cents a pip. One mini lot is worth a dollar a pip. And one standard lot is worth $10 a pip. Margin. Margin is a deposit required to open and to maintain open positions. This is not a fee or a transaction cost. It is simply a portion of your account equity set aside and allocated as a deposit to initiate the trade. Margin is multiplied by leverage to determine lot size. Now, margin is real money from your trading account. If you want to trade one micro lot, now that's worth $1,000, and your broker is offering you 50 to 1 leverage, in order to control that $1,000 micro lot, you'll need $20 of margin from your account. So that $20 of margin times that 50 to 1 leverage, so $20 times 50 gives you $1,000, and that's one micro lot. Your broker will take the margin and segregate it during the trade. You will get it back regardless if you win or lose your trade. Leverage. Because the market moves in such small amounts, you know, one one hundredths of a cent, we need to magnify the trade size in order to make any real money. Leverage is the trade size multiplier. That means your broker lends you the additional capital, although no money changes hands. Brokers can offer a wide range of leverage, anywhere from 10 to 1 to as much as 500 to 1. US brokers are limited to offering you a maximum of 50 to 1 leverage. The formulas. Now, this is the basic formula, is margin times leverage equals lot size. Now, in the examples that we're going to use, we're going to use 50 to 1 leverage, a $20 margin, and a 1 micro lot, or $1,000. So, in order to find the lot size, so the lot size is going to equal margin times the leverage. So, the margin multiplied the leverage. So, we know that the margin is $20, and the leverage is 50 to 1, 20 times 50, gives you $1,000, and that is the lot size. In this example, we're going to find the margin. So we're going to take that basic formula, that margin times leverage equals lot size, and we have to rearrange it in order to find the margin. Margin is going to equal lot size divided by leverage. So if we plug in the numbers, the margin is going to equal the lot size of $1,000 divided by the leverage is 50. So 1,000 divided by 50 is going to give us 20. The margin we need is 20. And then finally, in order to find leverage, again, we're going to use that margin times leverage equals lot size formula and change it around in order to segregate the leverage. Leverage is going to equal lot size divided by margin. So the leverage is going to equal the lot size, which is 1,000, divided by the margin, which is $20. So 1,000 divided by 20 gives us 50. So we know the leverage is 50 to 1. Your broker does all of this for you. You don't need to calculate the numbers before you place a trade, but it is good that you understand how the math works. Thank you for watching.